Day 61, not a lot of movement on our trades, nothing lost, which is the main thing. And you can see on the Dow index here, that reflection of low volatility today, really not much movement at all, going to be closing near the open. And that is the same for most of these stocks. We won't go through all of them, but I will say we did get into the second wise man trade with Coca-Cola. We can trail that first stop loss a bit higher there, almost to our entry price level there. And again, you can see it is a good day for us, or it's a good day for our first wise man signal up about a percent or so. But we are down just a slight amount for our wise man too. And we've still got our other five trades in action too. Let's check the other ones. The United Health, another push from it today. It's wiped out all these losses over the last few weeks. Now back up at this resistance there. We'll be interested to see if it can break through. But there's no new entry signals for us to go down on. There was quite a few second green bars on the awesome oscillator for a second wise man potential. So maybe we'll get a couple more down tomorrow. Day 62 into the after hours. Just come up to quarter past 11 and it is quite a big drop on the Dow Jones today. Not a good day. About 1.5% shaved off. And it has put us into just about a loss overall on these open trades, around about $60 down. But it did manage not to lose any trades today, so that's a bonus at least. Coca-Cola down, Microsoft down, Apple down, tinkering nearer to the stop loss. Don't want to see that. Visa down just below our entry price. Walt Disney not actually down that much. A little bit, but not too much. American Express, that looks like it's going to go through. Heavy bearish reversal candle. We're going to need the turn there. We will move that Coca-Cola stop loss from the first wise man up, and that is into a guaranteed profit. So we're going to have a winning trade there at least. And we do have three extra second wise man trades that we're going to go down with. 3M is up first. Down it goes. It's a buy stop order, of course. Here's Goldman Sachs hitting the chart. Another 1% risk. Good chance we are just going to see price push beneath the stop loss tomorrow, and we won't get into the trade. Last one, Honeywell. And it's 129 volume again. That's the same as 3M. Pop it on. Market missed out on that one. That's the trouble with the after hours. We'll have to go without on Honeywell. Plenty of other trades to rely on at least. Day 63. Not much action on the Dow. Has gone back up by just about three quarters of a percent. So that's not terrible, but it wasn't enough to save American Express from getting knocked out. Looks like it was only just about as well, right towards the low. Oh, well, and we did get into 3M as well today. It's another one of these classic after hours trades. Our entry price was $135, and the higher price today was $130.50. So that's quite a stretch, to be honest. If you go from the high to where it is up there, just about 3.5% where it got us in. This is not a good brokerage, I would say. It's Pepperstone that's giving us these terrible entries. Spreads go wild. I get they can be like that in the after hours, but 3.5% is a bit much for me. Didn't get into Goldman Sachs, but it hasn't pushed beneath the stop loss, so we can let it ride for now. And we'll see about the other charts. Yeah, honestly, not a lot going on today with these charts. We are seeing the appearance of a couple fractals. It's a bit close to our entry price, I think, for us to go in for it on Apple. But Visa, that's worth a look, I think. It's about 4.5% up from our entry price. So nice bit of room. I think we'll go for it. And it'll be 0.8% capital risk. Let's get it down. There it is, stop loss just beneath the low of that fractal candle. Haven't had a third wise man in a while. Might have a pop on Microsoft here as well. Okay, another third wise man going down then. Maybe these signals are the true savior of the strategy. All right, let's try again tomorrow. Day 64, a bit of a red day on the Dow, around about a percentage. It did drop nearly 2% or maybe just over 2%, but it's since come back since then. It does give us a fractal signal here. Third wise man, we're going to take that. All right, let's go for it. There it is. It's got a way to go before it actually gets us in. That'll be plus 3%, so you could easily see this one not coming. We'll move the stop loss up, though, and we will trail it ever so slightly above our entry price beneath this low right here, giving us a very marginal amount of guaranteed profit. Took a loss on 3M, though, pretty bad one, and we got caught out twice here, once by a first wise man and now by a second wise man. Shame on me. Goldman Sachs, we've lost that signal. We'll get rid of the trade there. Price gone through the would-be stop loss. Look at how close Apple came to knocking us out. Wow, that was close. Dowling could give us a second wise man signal tomorrow. Just seeing a second green bar there appear on the awesome oscillator. Maybe. Price has been coming down though. Yeah, we'll see. Same for Chevron. Potential there for a second wise man tomorrow. Going for a third wise man signal here on Amgen. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, let's give it a go. Has been performing well. Maybe there's still some of that train to ride. 
American Express with the bullish divergent bar, but we have only just been knocked out yesterday at that other trade. So I think we'll pass on that. Dow Jones and Amgen now for potential. Still not looking great though. Back tomorrow. Day 65, bit of a boost on the Dow Jones. Really run up after an initial drop. Good thing it didn't hit the stop losses. Very close again. Coca-Cola with a nice boost. Let's get these stop losses moved up. Get underneath the bar, that candle there. Very good stuff. There it is. And the rest of them going quite nicely. Almost into this Amgen third wise man trade. They did have a boost today. Another one of those will be comfortably in. Didn't get into any of the other third wise men. Microsoft, the Dow, Visa. But all good, just over two grand up now. Let's see if there's any new signals. Here we go for the second wise man signal on Dowing. Just as promised. On the charts you go. Giving ourselves a little bit more of a gap between the entry price and the stock loss. Try and avoid those wild trades. That's all we can do. We will have a pop on Chevron as well. Second wise man signal forming here. The high end price is right up by the close. So again, it's going to give ourselves a bit more of a gap. Go up for $151. Currently $146.67. Onto the charts we go. That's it for signals, but there has been a bit of a rush in. Six stop trades down now, as well as the seven trades that we're already in. Need some good runs, so some long runs. Well, that's it for the week. Let's check out our trading journal. Not much to add for the journal. Obviously, still a sea of red out there when we look at it and we scroll down. Another couple of losing trades to add this week. American Express for nine hundred dollars, three M for just over two grand. So pretty brutal week. A lot of open trades, which always gives us that optimism, a completely undeserved optimism, obviously. But who knows? Maybe some profitunity does come through for us. Back next week.